Five tips to look presentable when you're just not feeling it. Stay tuned. Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Sheila and I thank you for being here today. In today's video, I want to talk about five ways or give you five tips to looking presentable when you're just not feeling it, when you had absolutely no intention of going out of the house today or seeing anybody. And then all of a sudden, a neighbor calls and says they want to run over for a few minutes or a friend wants to stop by or you run out of something that you have to get so you have to run to the store or to the drugstore or the bank or somewhere. What do you do? Because you had no intentions of going anywhere. Your intention was to clean your house, to scrub your floors, to scrub down your bathrooms. That was your day. And now here you are in this situation. So let me go over my five tips and please let me know what yours are. If you have a tip that's different than this, you can share that in the comments section. The first tip is put on earrings. Now that's just the thing with me. It may not be for you. I have to have earrings on every day. And I put them on as soon as I get up. Now, they don't have to be fancy earrings. I'm not going to scrub floors and stay in and clean the house in pretty dangly earrings or nice colorful earrings or something like that. It's going to be a stud of some kind, just a little something, but I have to have my earrings in. I feel like that gives you a little bit of a finished or polished look. No matter what else is going on, if your hair's a mess and you don't have makeup on, just having those earrings on does something for me at least. Number two, put on a little bit of mascara, blush, and lip gloss each day when you have the intention of staying home. Now those three things are what matter to me. They may not to you. You may feel better if you just have your eyebrows on. I still have my eyebrows, so that doesn't concern me, but it may concern you because they do frame our face. For me, my eyes look pretty non-existent without at least some mascara on. So on days when I have no intentions of going anywhere or seeing anyone, I put mascara on. Now I don't curl my lashes. I don't use an eyelash primer like I would if I was going somewhere. I don't uh, take care to put the mascara on nice and thick and wiggle it at the base of the lashes so that they stand out. Nothing like that. I just take some mascara and swipe it on my lashes just to make myself look a little bit alive. And also for me, some kind of shine on my lip. It can be a clear gloss. It can be some kind of lip balm, something that I can carry in my pocket so that if I have to run out or if somebody came over, I can just swipe across my lips and at least they don't look dull and lifeless. And then also for me is either blush or bronzer because as we age, our skin gets more of a dull look. We don't have the youthful coloring that we used to have. So as long as I put on a little blush or bronzer in the morning, even if I'm gonna be scrubbing floors all day, then I'm good. And that way, if I have to run out somewhere, I've got a little bit of color on my face. Tip number three, sunglasses. Sunglasses are great to hide behind when your eyes don't look so good. 
and you do have to run out to get something or you've cleaned most of the day you just need some fresh air and you want to get outside and take a walk well just put on your sunglasses nobody can see that you don't have mascara on or your eyebrows on if you didn't do those things nobody can see that your eyes look puffy or that you had bags under your eyes that day or dark circles they're hidden so you look presentable when you go out number four is dry shampoo now some people only wash their hair once or twice a week which is fine i only wash mine twice a week and there are days when we are planning those stay in the house days to do a project or clean that we don't even comb our hair and then all of a sudden something comes up you've got to run out somebody is coming over you want to look a little presentable so if you use some dry shampoo that will fluff your hair up give it some body just kind of work it in through your hair it will absorb any oils that you may have Plus, it'll give you body. You can run a comb or a brush through it. And it totally changes the appearance of your hair. You could also, if you're going out, throw a hat on, a cute hat. Nobody can tell what's under that hat. Or tie it up in a cute scarf or something. But there's many ways to look presentable on days when you don't do anything with your hair at all. And number five involves scarves, kimonos, wraps, shawls. Say you're in a gray sweatsuit. You're in the house all day, and that's where you plan to stay. And you just have on that plain gray sweatshirt. It's colorless, it's comfortable, but it's doesn't have any pizzazz to it. If you take a pretty decorative scarf and tie it around your neck, wrap it around your neck, imagine like a bright red scarf around a darker color like that. Then if you go out, you look really presentable. It changes the whole look of your outfit. If you're in shorts and a tank top because it's summertime, or jeans and a t-shirt because that's kind of your everyday look when you're home. If you put a shawl or a wrap on or a pretty kimono that has bright colors in it and a print, your whole outfit looks different. And a cardigan, a nice cardigan over just a plain t-shirt and jeans or shorts changes the entire look you know i think we all have kind of a daily uniform for when we're staying in we have plans to just clean and do things around the house and we have that daily uniform and there's nothing wrong with that i want to be comfortable when i'm cleaning and I also don't want to have on any really nice clothes, just kind of like my working clothes, my working uniform. If something comes up where I have to run out, I'm not going to change in everything because I'm going to come back and continue cleaning. By doing these tips, by adding these things to your daily uniform, you're going to look completely different. So those are the things that I would do. I would love to hear what you would do if you had to run out and had no intentions of doing so. Or if you found out somebody is stopping by in an hour and you weren't planning on having company. Let me know in the comments section. Well now I'm going to leave you with an inside beauty tip. My inside beauty tip today 
is about guidance and a couple keys that we can use that will unlock any door. And I just want to talk about three of them. The first one would be truth. When you are honest with yourself and others, you can avoid a lot of misunderstandings and save yourself a lot of time and grief. The second one is prayer. It's the great balancer. It's a direct line to God and connects us to Him and His Spirit. It's the key to His kingdom and it humbles us and keeps us strong. And the third one is love. Love is God's greatest commandment. Love God, love yourself, and love others. Faith works by it and happiness is a result of it especially truth, prayer, and love, we're going to have a much more beautiful life. I thank you so much for being here today. I truly do appreciate it. And until we meet again, this is the old girl signing out. See ya!